Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about a little program for your Raspberry Pi called Screen. Stay tuned, I'll tell you what it is. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. What's up guys? Before I get started on my thing, getting into screen today, that's what we're going to do. I just want to take this moment to express my apologies to a certain individual. He has a YouTube channel called QuickPie. He made the repository for my last video and I did not know ignorance on my part guys I did not know that he was the creator of the repository that I used in my last video which was an easy quick way to install Homebridge I thought it came from the Homebridge website it was actually created by a gentleman that has a YouTube channel called quick pie so I want to give him a shout out and an apology that I did not understand how a bash file worked after doing some research, da, 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 I realized that it was actually his. He had no problem with me using it, which I greatly appreciate. To share with you guys, he just asked if I put his name in the credits of my last description video. So I want to take one step further because I am not into ripping people off. And I hope he doesn't feel that I did that. I just plain ignorance. I apologize. So this is his link right here. It's quick pie really really smart guy I didn't realize that's where I got it from I thought I got it from the actual website but really smart guy really good with Raspberry Pis way better than I am so check out his stuff and give him a shout out from my show another shout out I've been meaning to do and I keep forgetting and I apologize to the creators of uh, homekitnews.com I'm gonna put the link right here and it's gonna be in the description down below but as you can see behind me they featured me I think like twice so I really wanted to put this message out there and say thank you for featuring me and and I wanted to give you guys a shout out and it's a really good website if you want to learn more about HomeKit because I've been talking about it quite a bit on my show lately. They got a lot of good information and they gather it up. People like me and you know, you know uh, other people or just you know news that comes out they gather it all up in one place so you can keep up with your home kit so really good website i'm gonna leave the link down below and i wanted to give them that shout out because i really appreciate them featuring me on their website and it's a really good website i've learned quite a bit from it actually i did there was stuff that i didn't even realize that was out there so Definitely head over there and take a look at that, guys. Okay, so essentially, what is Screen, guys? Screen, real easy, is a simple program that we're gonna install today. And from my last video, the reason why I'm going through this is my last video, we set up HomeKit and we put in plugins, we did everything, and we were doing it from the terminal window. And as promised, if you watched that video, I told you I would show you how you can close out your terminal window and it won't stop Homebridge anymore. Unfortunately, as soon as you turn off that window, it stops everything. So this is a workaround to stop it. And basically what it does is you install this program and this program will run in the background and it'll keep track of your screen and won't end the program. So you run this program first, do what you gotta do, start Homebridge, and then you can exit out of it without home bridging missing a beat and then if you want to get back to it you can pull it back up right from the screen that you left on so which is really good if you're trying to set up your smart home with home kit and you have that stuff going so let's get started shall we guys now as usual I'm gonna have my notes right here for you guys so that way you have some reference there will be down below in the video description so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up terminal And we're going to put that right here so that way you guys can see. And what I'm going to do is, if you saw in my last video, I showed you how to set up SSH. And, I, and, and if you need reference to that, I'm going to leave a link above it right now. What we're going to do is we're going to connect them to the Pi that's running Homebridge. And right now it is not running Homebridge. And now I'm going to SSH into my Pi. Basically, it's, you type in SSH Pi at and then whatever your Pi IP address is. And if you look at my old videos, I show you how to find your Pi IP address through your router. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And then the password, which I didn't change it, so it's Raspbian. Okay, password is in. And now we'll, we'll launch Homebridge. And why I'm doing this, I am recording my phone because I want to show you guys what happens when you close out the window. And this is why I'm doing this. Okay, so we're in 
Homebridge. I'm waiting for the response. Okay. So as you see, as soon as Homebridge starts, you'll see on my phone, I'm going to have it on the other side here, everything's highlighted. And it looks great, right? Well, as soon as I close out of this window, it's going to disconnect. So now if I refresh this or try to, let's try and turn off. See, there it goes. And everything is disconnected. In order to fix this, we're going to open up terminal again. And we're going to put this, paste this right in here. Put in our password. Before we do anything, what we're going to do is we're going to install this. I'm going to go right here and we're going to go to sudo apt-get install screen. Paste. Now, this is my method, guys. You know, there's probably a million other ways to do this. This is just what I've found. I'm sure there's going to be somebody in the comments because there's always some guy out there that's like, you don't know what you're doing. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever. This is how I do it. And this is what's worked for me, and this is how I have it set up on my household. I did have it set up where it started as soon as the Raspberry Pi started, but it put it in separate folders, and it got a little confusing, and I recently somehow messed it up because I tried to update. That's another thing that I probably should do a tutorial on is about how to update Homebridge. This is done, so I'm going to stop talking, and what I'm going to do is going from here, I'm going to type in screen because the program is now installed. So let's paste screen and we're going to put enter. All right. And now it cleared out the screen. And what we're going to do is we're going to type in Homebridge and let that start. And I apologize. I am going to block out some of my information. I'm going to bring up the phone and now all the all the devices are operational. You can see, I, I'm gonna turn off the office lights real quick. Let's see. Okay, so I'm turning on off the lights. Everything's working. All right, so now you can see the cell phone screen and you can see that it is operational. Now, if I go and click out of this window because I started screen, and you'll see on the, on the side with my phone on the video, everything still stays on and now I could still control my lights everything is fine it there is nothing wrong here there's nothing happening it's not stopping because now screen is running in the background and it knows hey you don't want to exit this alright so we'll open up terminal once again we're gonna log into the Pi we're gonna put in the password hopefully you guys guys have changed it by now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna type in screen dash R and now if the Pi crashed you won't be able to like let's say the cut Pi rebooted or you lost electricity and it came back on this will not work but if you want to go in there let's let's say you want to see something's not working right you want to go in there this will work or you want to stop home bridge so you can add another plug in this will work so we're gonna type this in hit enter boom we're right back where we started so now I could stop Homebridge, I could do whatever I want. The screen is back the way I originally had it. So you could see, okay, Homebridge is still running, what the heck's going on, and then you could diagnose it from there. Because of screen, we can close the terminal window and you have no problems. You know, you don't have to worry about Homebridge just stopping because you closed your terminal window. With screen, you'll actually be able to continue it ongoing and then actually bring it back up. So if I wanted to bring it back up again, I could. Okay guys, that was screen. Really easy, you type in screen, and you start home bridge and then you can exit out of the terminal it's really dumb dumb simple once you install it and then you can return to it later on if you need to change it if you need to stop it so that's it for this episode of crazy wills tech show make sure you like and subscribe if this video helped you and remember you can do anything and i mean anything if you put your mind to it later guys damn air conditioner Yeah, thought I was a picture, didn't ya? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.